Oh, dude, I got a tank. Oh, it's a big one. What's up, guys? Today we are at a remote hidden paradise in the middle of the woods. No, this place is in the middle of nowhere, though. We had to ride down dirt roads for like five or ten miles. Probably more like ten miles to get here. I'm going fish with Richard today. What's up, YouTube? Say hello to YouTube. What's up, man? <laughs> and we are going fishing out in a place like that. But we got to ride a little ways to get there. You guys see we're taking this little trail going down the dirt road here. A little spillway over there. Oh, let's check it out. We're going to go over here and check out the spillway. Oh, man, it's locked. Yeah. We're going to still look at it. Yeah, Come here. Let's go. I'm look at it real quick on our adventure to where we're trying to get to. So we got the kayaks today in the back of the truck. The bass boat is getting some work done to it. Yeah. Walk around here to the, yeah, to the corner of it. Preparing the transom on the bass boat right now, so it is down for service. But we are going fishing anyway. Nothing's gonna stop us. I don't see any fish in there. It looks really cool though. Oh, I got the ants. Ah! Oh! 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 You got some ants? <laughs> But the dams are on me. All right, guys, we checked it out. We've seen it. I got attacked by ants, and now we're going to get back in the truck and actually get to where we're going. We can catch these fish. We're going to catch some bass today. We just had a cold front come through two or three days ago, and fishing has sucked. I fished every day for four hours for the past three days and caught one fish every day. So it's been horrible. And today we got bluebird skies, hardly any wind. So that's not going to be very helpful for getting the fish to bite. The fish are probably going to be really finicky and cover related. We're in deeper water. Depending on how clear the water is, but we'll tune in when we get there. You get a bit by any ants? No, I'm good. Boy, they tore me up. But right now, we are checking out this trail. We found a trail right here that goes back. And it's got some logs over it. So before I try to drive the truck down here, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can move this wood to where we can get back here. What you say? What does it look like? That lighter than me. We're gonna be able to move that. Oh yeah. Need some help or am I? Uh, you got it. No, I got it. Strong man. I I I'm just strong enough to hold the camera. He's strong <laughs> enough. <laughs> He's strong enough to move the logs. Yeah, I don't know about this one up here. This one up here looks kind of green. Yeah. It's still got bark on it. <laughs> Might be stuck on that one. We got a mud puddle right here. We don't know how deep that is. Yeah, guys, check it out. There's a nice little clearing right here. There's some more pelican birds. <laughs> if those logs wasn't there, then we could just pull right up right here. And you could even back a trailer in here. You could definitely put the kayaks in here. All right, we'll tune in with you guys in a minute. We'll figure out what we're going to do. We got to take some time to think about our next step here. The conference center gate is open. I always come down here on the weekend. It's always closed. It's never open. This is the only time I've ever seen it open. There was a bunch of people back there having an event and all those people left. So I don't know what time they close the gate. But ideally, I would like to put in at the conference center and just fish because that's right near my spot and then leave. But I'm scared to go down there and be fishing them clo come and close the gate. So we don't know anything about when they're going to close the gate. The boat ramp's way over there. Our fishing spot's way over there. So we just stopped on the side of the road right here and we we're going to take the kayaks and put them in the water right down here. Put you guys on my head and then we're going to go fishing. I'm going to try this guys. We're going to see how well it works. I might be going for a swim. Hopefully not. Cause it's cold. Are we there yet? They know not to bite. Oh, I got a bite. I got him. Oh, he got me hung up. I finally got a bite and he got me hung up. First cast with a June bug speed worm. I bet he's gone too. Yep. Well, I had a bite, guys. We might have figured something out. Might be fixing to catch him. This is a June bug speed worm. I got 3 16 ounce tungsten on here. I'm going to put the link to the company I get these tungsten from down in the description below where you can get them really cheap online but you have to buy in bulk you have to buy at least forty dollars worth or more because you get free shipping if you buy less than forty dollars worth you got to pay for the shipping and shipping on weights is, <laughs> isn't cheap better come over here oh 
Ooh, that's fish out here. Missed him again. That's two I didn't miss now. Guys, look at this snail. Even the snails are super sized down here. Thing's huge. I don't know if I've ever seen a snail that big. It was like an ocean fish. It's so big. And that's a gator right there. Oh, sh he's getting in the water. That's a big bitch. Look, I'm too big for you to eat. You hear me? You see that up on the bank straight in front of me? Is that an alligator? See the three? I see three ridges, almost like an alligator and a tail. If that's an alligator, that's a big alligator. He's about two and a half foot wide. I hope to God it's a log. Because if it ain't, that's a big gator. I might be getting out the boat and getting on the bank if he starts coming for me. The closer I get to it, bro, the more it looks like an alligator with his head stuck in the water. I'm pretty sure that's a gator, bro. Holy sh! Is that a fish? Oh, that's a fish. Oh, dude, I got a tank. I got a tank. I got a tank. Oh, it's a big one. Dude, it is a big one. And that is a gator. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's coming over here for my fish, bro. Dude, that's like a 12-foot gator. Guys, look at that bass. That thing is probably like four pounds. Yeah, at least, yeah. There's a gator, he's coming towards you. I just hooked this bass, and the reason I got up here next to the bank is because one time I had a stringer hanging over in the water. And this gator come up right to that string and was gonna grab it and pull it in the water. So with me holding up a piece of candy, I'm worried about him coming over here. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and weigh the fish. I done got a picture with it. And then we're gonna, we're gonna let it go after that. Oh, sh my GoPro about fell in the water. That thing looks bigger than two pounds and 11 ounces to me. What do you think? That thing looks at least three pounds. Maybe he's just really short, I don't know. The scale says 211. Comment down below if you think that fish is two pounds and 11 ounces. I think it's more like three, three and a half. But let's go ahead and let this, this fat girl go right here. She's so fat and healthy. She's probably full of eggs. She does have a little mouth, so she's probably short. She might be 211. I mean, that's pushing three pounds. She could be. Get a little bit revived here before she swims off. Hopefully that gator won't come up and get the fish or my hand. Bye-bye, fishy. All right, so we put a fish in the boat, finally. Finally put a fish in the boat. He has missed two. I've missed two, and then I finally caught that one. So now I think it's four o'clock, and normally I don't start catching fish down here until after four o'clock. So I think the bite's fixing to turn on. Let's get back to fishing. Is that a fish? Well, that is a fish. Oh, look at him. Oh, it's another tank. I'm getting everything wet. Yeah, he is. He's fat. Come here. Check him out, boys. He's probably about two pounds. He is definitely short and fat. Look how short and fat he is. That's two fish. Two on the board. Let's go ahead and let him go. Now guys, the way he bit it though, I threw past some grass and I thought I had the grass and then I, I, I could feel like I was hung up in the grass and the, I kept pulling on it and it seemed like it kept moving, but there is current. And then eventually I just seen where my line had moved that much and I realized there's no way that that was grass and my line was moving that much. So I, I knew it was a fish. He's got one now. That way, hey, finally gonna put one in the boat. Yeah, that's a good one. He's about a pound something. He caught another one. But it's two. Two to two. He's got two and I got two now. So guys, this little spot that we just found here is basically the end of the stretch and it's going to be shallow right here. So this is probably a shallow kind of little bay. It's probably like four to six foot deep all through here. And the bass 
are probably migrating in here to get ready to bed or they're already bedding in here. And ideally, we're going to sit in this spot and cast as much as we can in this area before we actually come in here. Because the more we get in here and move around, the more we're going to spook these fish and the less they're going to bite. Uh-oh, you're going to be winning now if you get this one in. How big is he? You sure you ain't got grass? Yeah, that's a fish for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. Probably a pound and a half. That looks like a bed right there. Oh, close to it. Right at the end of that pipe. There's a fish on it. Oh, I scared him. It's probably like a three pounder. That felt like a bite. Oh, that is a bite. Missed him. You got him? What, stick bait? Yeah, that's a fat one. No way. We both just missed one, guys. Oh, he bit it again. I'm gonna let him take it longer this time. I'm gonna get a hook in this time. <laughs> I let him take it for like 30 seconds and still missed him. You got to hook him that time? Probably the female. Oh, he just bit mine. We both we both got one. Well, I ain't got hooking him yet. I'm letting him swim around with it. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, mine let go. I'll throw it one more time. I must be throwing right on that bed. Oh, he bit it again. Got a hook in that time. Finally. <laughs> that was like the fifth time I threw over there and had a bite. Finally got a hook in him. Old male bed tender. Look how small he is. That's why I kept missing him. All right, guys. We've seen him. <laughs> Let's throw him back. I'm, well, at least we finally know what it, what it is. So the fish have quit biting. Apparently, the sun is going down. You guys see the sun up here. So it's going down under the trees. We want to have the boats back to the truck before that sun goes down and it gets dark for one they close the gates but for two it's going to be freezing cold out here and for four there's some big alligators we've done seen like four big alligators and i don't want to be out here at night with no flashlight and these big alligators so we're going to call it a day but if you like this video please hit that thumbs up drop a comment down below please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again next time